it be it be it became not as challenging to sit there and talk about everything I it's sad you know it's like um but also like you can't have good without the bad so I think it's important to have both is the world desensitized because you said sometimes a lot of too much self-deprecation in right. culture like right so, so is it, when you say the world don't give a fuck about your loneliness it's almost like well you're not receiving that back that right that people I really mean care. This, that's not what I want to promote is loneliness you know I don't like you know like hey man that's tight everyone that likes me go sit in a room for two years Rain and Sean ROS. yeah ROS I was like uh we we were on good terms but you know I was like you know, it's like I just wanted that comfort so bad. It was rough. I don't know. I, I have a hard time. To, I don't know how. Is to that the toughest? Put, I don't know how to put it into words. You know, how do you put love into, into did words like help? that? Did that song help the relationship come to a better understanding? <laughs> no, <laughs> I, always, I always think that that can fix the problem. Like you know what I mean? Like there's an issue. I'll make a song. <laughs> you know, <laughs> That doesn't work. It was like reality. That that moment for me, which was I think, kind of for the first time, a uh, actual fear of that it what might actually be on its way to a close. Mm. You know, which I never thought was a possibility. Right. Yeah, man. It's just like you're really popping your collar, man. Yeah, exactly, man. it's okay to feel yourself. Like that's okay. That's an, I think that's an important thing that that like it's good and important to speak on issues and that happens and i'll do that and there's more albums there's more songs but i think you know the world's fucked up you know so all everyone making music about how fucked up the world is it sucks but i think it's not it's it's not a bad idea to make some music that empowers people to make them feel like oh i'm the shit and when they say the words they're like i feel good like that's what i Want with this album i want people to to listen to the shit drive in their car and rap along to it and when they get done with their drive they feel like oh i'm kind of killing it right now man love's underrated <laughs> i think people think it's like a cheesy corny thing to always be like loving and and like have a positive energy about you I was one of those people. I was like, man, I'd be so much more interesting if I was like self-destructing all the time and depressed and hating myself. Like people would, I'm so much more interesting that way and more creative. It's not true. Like you mean it's just drinking. Yeah, like, yeah. But my thing was is once I switched to like, I want to try. I've, I've proved to myself that I can be faded all the time, make great music and, 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 and make it day to day and, uh -huh. and carry on. But like all of a sudden just being completely clear headed was like uh that was the new high. That was the new you know what I mean? Right? Because yeah. it's like, oh wow, like I'm feeling things and, and I was kinda scared that I wouldn't be able to create mm -hmm. but I was like, Wow, I am a superhero. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I can feel like you know what I mean? Like yeah. I this is actual real happiness. This is real sadness. Yeah. Mm. This isn't like you know, me putting some, uh, going to the pharmacy, trying to pick a emotion and put it together. You know, mm. this is like a real, this is, this is the world that I've been hiding from. This is me f like channeling that energy thing is like evolving as a human being. Mm -hmm. Like that's what sheds, um, that's what trickles down to everything else that you do. You mm -hmm. know, like, like I could try and evolve as an artist all I want, but if I'm not evolving as a human being first, it's gonna be a disconnect. You yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah. I have to, I have to grow as a, a, a and, and become a better person and become a more well-rounded individual before I can like evolve as any type of artist or whatever. What What did you have to drop out of your life? Like uh, the addictions and all the man things that you were connected to that was keeping you in a hole. You didn't even realize it. Um, I had to. I had to. I think first I had to get rid of like a frame of mind that mm -hmm. was like a. Uh, that was just negative mm -hmm. you know what i mean like um and fear fear is a big one mm. great imagination only right. yeah you know yeah. what about uh people did you have to change up the ones that were surrounding you i mean did that you know what the, i have the people in my life are the same people that have been in my life forever and, and um they 
it was such a positive effect on the people around me and i didn't realize it and i didn't want to i didn't want to i didn't realize how how um substantial that would be just for me to 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 take care of myself because that's really a thing you know what i mean it's people are like you want to take care of those around you take care of yourself first mm-hmm. you know what i mean and i'm always like yeah right like that's some bullshit <laughs> like i need to i need to make sure that the blase 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 but like in reality like that this was this was it and um and it's fear man like you just you just tackle all of that and you realize you have nothing to be afraid of but i like i had to kind of start changing up maybe different ways i did things